Hi there. This is Lawrence Simon, a technical writer on the documentation team at cPanel, the hosting platform of choice. It's all about the cloud these days, isn't it? Did you know that you can create a cPanel and WHM server instance in the cloud? In this video, I'll demonstrate how to launch a cPanel and WHM server instance on the Alibaba cloud. We'll perform the following tasks. We'll log into Alibaba. We'll configure the instance and launch it. We'll create an elastic IP address. Then we'll connect to WHM. The first step is to open your web browser and navigate to Alibaba's Marketplace website at marketplace.alibabacloud.com. If you don't already have an account at Alibaba, you'll need to sign up for one. After you get that taken care of, or if you've already got an account at Alibaba, click Login. The login interface will appear. Enter your username and password, and click Sign In. The Alibaba Cloud Marketplace website will appear again. Let's search for cPanel and WHM. Listings will appear for cPanel and WHM. Click the one with the cPanel LLC seller. The product listing will appear. It lists some marketing material, a software list, links to our documentation, and other helpful information about running cPanel and WHM on Alibaba's platform. Let's click Choose Your Plan. The ECS Custom Launch Interface will appear. By the way, ECS stands for Elastic Compute Service. Under the Billing Methods section, select Pay As You Go. This way, Alibaba can bill you appropriately for your usage. Now you're ready to select the data center region for your server. Alibaba's regional data centers are located around the world. So select a region that's either near your location or near your customers. Each region contains several zoned data centers. Select a zone within that region. In the instance type, select your desired instance type. At the time I recorded this video, cPanel and WHM requires a minimum of one gigabyte of RAM, but we recommend that you use at least two gigabytes of RAM. I'll add a link to our system requirements in the video description. And then, confirm that cPanel and WHM appears in the Image text box. Now, we need to select a storage size. At the time I recorded this video, 20 gigabytes of disk space is necessary, but we recommend at least 40 gigabytes of disk space. Once again, Check the link to our system requirements in the video description. I'll select a standard SSD type of drive. For more information about the types of drives at Alibaba, click the Click Here link. Let's go back to the previous browser tab and make our selection. You can add additional storage to your server with the options in the Data Disk section. For now, I won't add any additional storage, so I'll skip this section. Now we'll configure some networking options. Click Next Networking. The networking interface will appear. If this is your first instance, click Go to Console and Create. The VPC's interface will appear. Then click Create VPC a new interface will appear. In the VPC section, enter a label for this VPC in the Name text box. Alibaba will automatically fill in the IPv4 site or block section. Do not change the information in that section. In the vSwitch section, enter a label for the vSwitch in the Name text box. Then, Select the zone within the data center region that you selected earlier. Ensure that a green check mark appears next to the ECS label. Click OK. A success message will appear. And click 
complete. The interface will display your new VPC. Close the browser tab for the VPC's interface. Click refresh and select the newly created VPC. The interface will automatically populate the switch text box. Under the network billing method, select the assign public IP address checkbox. Then, set the bandwidth slider to the maximum amount of data that you expect to send from your instance. Now, we're going to configure the security group for the instance. In the security group section, click Create Security Group. A security group interface will appear in a new browser tab. Click Create Security Group. The Create Security Group interface will appear. In the template menu, select Customize. In the security group name text box, enter a label. Enter a description of this security group in the description text box. Under Network Type, select VPC. In the VPC menu, select the VPC that you created earlier. It will automatically populate the text box with the ID of the VPC. Click OK. A confirmation message will appear. Click Create Rules Now. Click Import Rules. Another confirmation message will appear. In a new browser tab, go to the following website, go.cpanel.net slash Alibaba. In that document, you'll see a list of security rules to download. OK, let's go back to the security group interface. Click Select will select the rules that you downloaded. This set of security rules provides open access to and from the server. You can refine your security rules later. And then, we'll click Start. And then, click Finish and Close. Close the Browser tab. In the Security Group section, Click Reselect Security Group and click Select. There, we're finished configuring the security group. Click Next System Configurations. A new interface appears. Under Login Credentials, select Password. Enter a secure password in the Logon Password and Confirm Password text boxes. Enter a name for the instance. This is not the host name of the instance. It is a label that will appear in the console. Now, enter a description of the instance. In the Host text box, enter a fully qualified domain name as the host name of your server. Let's skip past all the remaining steps on this interface and click Preview. The Order Summary interface will appear. To read the Terms of Service, click each of the links in the Terms of Service section. Then, select the checkbox in the Terms of Service section. Click Create Instance. A confirmation message will appear. Click Console. The instance's interface will appear, and it will display your newly created instance. In order to access your server, you must configure an elastic IP for the server, so let's go ahead and configure one. To do that, perform the following steps. Click More. Click Network and Security Group. Then, click Convert to EIP. A warning box will appear. Read the warning box. And then click OK. The interface will refresh and display a public elastic IP for the server. Now, 
you'll be able to log into WHM directly from a browser through the IP address at port 2087. Your browser may give you a few security warnings. Your server starts with the self-signed certificate. Later on, you can set up a hostname certificate to secure your server and get rid of these warnings. Let's go ahead and log into WHM. Enter the root username and the password you selected during the setup process. A new interface will appear that asks you to agree to our software license. Go ahead and read it, and then click Agree to All to agree to it. Another interface will appear that will ask you for your contact information and the name servers to use. Enter your contact email address. The name servers will be based on the host name that you provided earlier. I'll use NS1, dot, the domain name from the host name, and then NS2, dot, and the domain name from the host name. After you click Finish, the WHM interface will appear. Every cPanel and WHM server that's new on a particular IP address comes with a 15-day trial license. You can contact cPanel if you wish to buy a license, or you can buy one directly from within the WHM interface. Sometimes, up in this location, you may see a few yellow warning messages in the WHM interface header. If you see a warning about a new version of cPanel and WHM available, don't worry about it. As part of the installation process at Alibaba, cPanel and WHM is updating itself as a background task. However, if you see a warning about requiring a reboot to apply software updates, that means that there is a new operating system kernel available. You can take care of that reboot after you get things set up on your server. But, since we don't have any warnings up here, we're fine for now. Your server is now ready to configure, just like any other cPanel and WHM server. I'll include links to the documentation in the video description, okay? For more information about cPanel, the hosting platform of choice, visit cPanel.com or follow us on Twitter at cPanel. What did you think of this video? Let us know in the comments. And for more helpful videos, subscribe to our cPanel TV channel. Thank you for watching and enjoy.